around at Oceanside, you know, is what makes it fabulous. In addition to it being in, you know, close to Southern California, where the the real roots of triathlon began way back in the late 70s, mid-70s, actually. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, so you combine those two um, with the addition of truly swimming in the ocean. Uh, It's not rough water, but we're in the harbor. And then riding back in Camp Pendleton, what, uh, you know, inland California used to be like. <laughs> yeah. You know, before development. And uh, it's just so amazing riding back there. You know, and then you top it off running along the water mm-hmm. you know, on the strand. Uh, you know, in some well, a couple of the years we had a little bit of sand there. But just the combination of all those elements uh, in the area, um, you know, make it what it is. It's got a good combination uh, of of some flats to start, of hills on the backside that are deceiving and tend to never end. Um, and then the last six miles, when you head back west towards the coast, 95% of the time you have a headwind. You know, so you have some speed, yet you have a lot of difficult and slower sections to the course. Uh, technically, um, you know, on some of those descents on the backside, you add that in, you've just got a little bit of everything in a really cool place. Uh, so that's what makes this, this bike course special. And, you know, we wouldn't be able to do it and without uh, Camp Pendleton Marine Corps Base allowing us to get on on their actual uh, land. So the base, the base has trust in the Ironman organization, our organization, because mm-hmm. we've done it, you know, so for so many years. So, uh, yeah, you have a lot of rules and regulations on the base, mm-hmm. which that's just the way it is. You can't fight it. Um, but uh, they, they work with us really well. You know, and we just signed another five-year agreement uh, with the city in, of Oceanside, and then the city of Oceanside has an agreement with the base. Uh, but they've worked really well, and it, it kind of changes from year to year. Um, there's new people every two years that come in on the base that we have to deal with. Uh, but, you know, we always work everything out, and they respect us, we respect them, and, and we put on a, a great, safe race. Absolutely. You get history and tradition, and uh, <laughs> let's face it, Marines are all about that. You know, I, to prepare for California bike course, it's a, basically an early season race this mm-hmm. year, and, and it's it's not really a fast course. Uh, it's more of a power and strength course. So, you know, I suggest, and what I get my athletes to do is, is truly focus on strength and power, you know, and, and get a good, strong base. And if you go into California with a good, strong base strength versus feeling like you're in top uh, speed shape, um, you know, you'll have – you'll be able to race at 99% of your, your capacity uh, because it is a, a strength-type course. You know, you combine that with the cold water in the harbor, the warmest it's ever been at 61 degrees, you know, um, and then the running at times it takes a fair bit out of you uh, because you're running on a fair bit of concrete, so it beats up the legs. Mm-hmm. So if you go into this race early season base with a lot of strength work behind you and, and you know, strength-specific swimming, cycling, and running, you're going to have a good day. Yeah, the first 25 miles of the bike, uh, you can kind of uh, leave your race there uh, because yeah. it's flatter, you know, and anybody can ride hard for the first 40K. <laughs> uh, then you actually hit some substantial hills on the backside. The race kind of starts at mile 30, halfway up that first climb. All right. You know, so I tell people to, you know, have that, you know, 1% or 2% ounce of uh, conservative uh, effort at the beginning. And, uh, you know, and then if you maintain your speed, you know, throughout the hills, so to speak, uh, and that last six miles, that's where the race is. So you've got to be a little conservative at the beginning on this course because everything comes and will bite you in the backside at the end if you go up too hard. Well, I would say for 95% of the athletes, it's very important that you, you do a lot of as much reconnaissance as you can of a course mm-hmm. so you know what to expect. Um, and the reason I only say 95% is there's 5% of the people that I coach that do really well um, and don't want to see or know what to expect. Um, they kind of like the adventure of it. That's nice. That's for the, yeah, but again, that's, you know, the 5-10% rule applies to anything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> but mm-hmm. for the vast majority of people, um, you know, it is so substantial. I know when we put camps on in different locations and took people out on the course, it would just ease their mind. You know, and now they have the ability with CompuTrainer to do this from their home, save money, and do it several times, uh, and get the experience uh, prior to the race that they need that will help them have a better race on race day. Boy, what is uh, a little bit of confidence worth? 
uh, night and day. Yeah. You do, it just eases your mind. You know, people hear about the tough course at Cal or they hear about the tough course at, let's say, Lake Placid or mm-hmm. St. George now, too. And, mm-hmm. and if they can actually just see it, uh, either experience it firsthand or, you know, the next closest thing is, is you know, seeing it when they, they ride the course on a CompuTrainer, um, it's, it's extremely valuable. And uh, what, what is the current, uh, you, you talked about uh, doing your camps, what is the current situation, uh, understanding between you and Camp Pendleton? Can you ride the complete course off, off race day? No, you can't anymore. All right. At, uh, yeah, you used to be able to. Uh-huh. Um, you know, way back we had permission, but, you know, and then after, uh, you know, 9-11 and then other things in the world happening, they shut it down on the backside. It's kind of, it's very dangerous back there. There's some scary descents, um, blind corners. They don't even allow Marines to ride a certain segment of it anymore on their bike. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Didn't know that. Uh, yeah. So uh, okay. anybody out there, don't, don't give it a try. It could jeopardize the... Uh, race and you'll get thrown in jail (laughs) (laughs) thanks for spending some time with us today Uh, again congratulations to all your successes and uh, we'll see you down the line my friend okay Kevin thank you